Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I have already uploaded my usual weekly shopping haul this week but I also went into Farm Food and they've got some really really good deals on still. So I wanted to show you and I didn't want my other video to be extra long. So this is just Farm Food and it's not obviously a weekly shop it's just some of their really good offers. We have tried some of the things that I've repurchased so we can let you know what they're like and why I repurchased them. Amazing offers so I'll take you through it or I'll let you know how much everything costs and what is worth going in to get because they like I said they've still got some really good deals on if you haven't seen my previous farm foods haul then make sure to go and watch that one because the deals in there are just incredible so we bought the chicken patties last time this time we've bought these jamaican beef patties these are one pound 29 for two they're flaky golden pastry they've got a really nice flavor you can put them in the air fryer take about 18 minutes or something in the air fryer so i got two lots of the beef ones this time and i also got two lots of the jerk chicken patties and these are also brilliant you can just pop them in the oven if you want to do all of them at once and then you can refreeze them so pop them in sandwich bags and they're great to get out for packed lunches and things £1.29 for two is really good the flavour's amazing they're not too incredibly spicy either although I will say the jerk chicken ones are slightly spicier than the plain chicken they've still got a spice to them but the jerk chicken are a little bit hotter really really recommend these £1.29 for two I think that's brilliant I got some of these Alpenlite salted caramel. These were actually 69p, and I know in Sainsbury's and places these are definitely over a pound. So I thought 69p for five of those was quite good. And the thing with farm foods, you have to look at every single label. That's where all the offers are. I spend as much time looking at the shelves as I do in the actual frozen bit. I make no secret of the fact that I don't really rate a lot of their frozen food. I don't think the quality is amazing, and I don't necessarily think the price is amazing. But if you look at the labels, you can get some fantastic deals. These chicken stock pots with bait and parsley were 49p. I mean, we don't get stock pots for 49p. That's just, that, that's that's a really good deal. Um, and then these ones, these were 69p. You get four, but they're aromatic Asian stock. So they've got lemongrass, ginger, and chili. And I make ramen and noodle dishes all the time. So I thought that was an amazing idea. And for 69p, so I've got two of those. I thought that was really impressive. The other OXO thing I got was this rub and it says rub or sprinkle and it's sizzling shawarma. This was 29p. This is going to be perfect for seasoning chicken breast with. So 29p, thought that was amazing. So I got one of those. I got a hot tomato ketchup. This was 99p and it's a big one. It's 460 grams. It's a really, really nice. I mean, Heinz ketchup's good anyway, but the hot one is so good. So I got that as well. So I picked up two more of these Spice Magic Korma sauces. I don't usually buy korma. I accidentally bought this last time I went in and I mixed it with a Jalfrezi sauce. But when I tasted the korma on its own, this is amazing. The flavour is so tasty. It's very thick and sweet and creamy. There's a very strong coconut taste. I think for a pound for a korma sauce, sometimes you will open a jar of sauce and it will just sort of flop out, if you know what I mean. This is like properly solid. It's packed full of flavour. And I add, I add flavourings to everything. Even if I make a curry with a jar, I add flavourings. With this, I would just add some chopped chilies to make it to our like spice range that we enjoy. But other than that, I wouldn't add anything. It's such a nice flavour. I highly recommend these. They're only a pound and you can mix them together. They also had a sagaloo one, I think, this time as well. And I think they might do a vindaloo, but the korma is just outstanding. Absolutely love it. Highly, highly recommend that. Next up, if you're anything like me, if you have teenagers or kids in the house that get hungry at weekends, then they like king pot noodles and things, which are actually ridiculously expensive these days. Farm foods always have them on offer. These ones are the king pot noodle fusions, and these are Malaysian curry flavour. These were 49p each, so I got three of these. They also had the Thai green curry flavour, again, 49p. And yeah, granted, the date on them is probably quite soon. Actually, saying that, we're in the middle of March and these are good to the end of May. So we've got quite a while to use those up. 49p each, really, really good prices. Again, another one, you just have to look at the tickets. 
I've got some of these, a big night in. So these are Coleman's Argentinian steak flavorings. It's supposed to be a rub for beef, but I was thinking you could make amazing meatballs with this or flavor like your burgers. But I think if you mix this in with some beef mince and made meatballs, you could make a really nice sort of spicy tomato, like Domio style sauce to go with it. It'd be so nice. So this is a seasoning mix with oregano, thyme smoke, and smoked paprika. These were five for a pound like 20p each and like i said you could use it on chicken you don't just have to use it on steak but i think i'm going to do either meatballs with a really spicy ragu sauce or make them into burgers five for a pound fantastic peas not not brilliant deal i just needed peas and they are still doing their 10 for 10 pound in farm foods however they have taken the massive sign off of the freezer so you really do have to look at those tiny little labels in there because it still said 10 for £10, but the big sign that they had plastered all over that freezer last time has gone. So, and they've also changed out the offers slightly. Last time they had garlic and herb Kievs, this time they have cheese and ham. So these worked out, obviously, a pound a pack. So a pound for two cheese and ham chicken Kievs. I got three lots of those. I got one lot of, there's two fish fillets in here for a pound. Eight chicken griddlers, these are so nice as well. If you want to make a salad and chuck like half a box of these, there's eight in there, four on a salad, because they're quite big, so you can chop them up. Absolutely perfect. They take about 10, 12 minutes in the air fryer. Again, I'm not gonna say it, but you know how much they cost, they weren't a lot. And I also got some peri peri chicken char grills. These are all supposed to be at least two pound fifty a box, and you get them for a pound <laughs> i had to say it again really recommend that deal if you can you know take them out the boxes put them in the sandwich bags really recommend that deal it's amazing the other thing we tried before and we have oh and the kievs were delicious by the way they were really really nice like i said these are amazing on salads and these go perfectly if you want to make like a nando style fake away um in a bun with lettuce and some peri peri mayo and maybe a cheese slice or something absolutely perfect they take hardly any time you haven't got to marinate any chicken so we've tried all of these highly recommend but this spicy popcorn chicken i'll probably shoot myself in the foot now because everyone will go and buy it and there'll be none left these are this is actually vegan style chicken in a spicy crispy cornflake coating this is quite a big box um it's not like the little boxes you can get at the sfc or whatever it is i don't know where it says how much in here actually 220 grams again you can pop this in the air fryer it really hardly takes any time at all it's absolutely delicious it's like little balls of spicy spicy chicken popcorn it doesn't taste vegan it does taste like chicken so if you don't like chicken and then it's not for you but it's so nice i had these in a salad steve had them on their own the boys have had them on their own perfect if you want a little snack if you just want to throw them in if you haven't got a lot of time chuck them on a salad really really nice they're 69p 69p a box you cannot go wrong with that it's just crazy prices so i got four of those as well and i these this was a fantastic offer these cookie cone extreme i know like caramel caramello i know ice creams can be expensive when you buy them out like if you go to an ice cream van or you want to buy them individually from like an ice cream shop but even in tesco's and that i think these are something ridiculous like three pound 79 four pound a pack something like that because the cone is actually made out of cookie dough one pound 49 for four one pound 49 for four so i got two boxes of those loads of offers on the ice creams but i do think this is probably one of the best offers in the ice cream section the cone being made out of cookie they are absolutely delicious i'm not really an ice cream fan but you can't go wrong with caramel in a cookie cone like it's just perfect another thing we've tried several times now and we absolutely love these pasta prontos i will say they are not massive it says serves one and it does serve one and you you probably would not just have that on its own but they're 69p i mean for 69p it's so worth having they take 90 seconds in the microwave you could do that chuck a tin of tuna in with it and that's it you know a bit of cheese on top and that is your lunch or dinner done so quick and easy and the ones next to it are £1.79 um, the ones without chilli I think and the carbonara one £1.79 69p highly recommend those as well tried them tasted them loved them couldn't resist these toffee crumbles I often buy the boys the other one I can't remember what it's called I'm sure it's called toffee crunch maybe anyway this is a pound it's like the toffee crumble you used to get in a sweet shop when you was a kid and I love it so I got them one of those each and then three lots, three 
making lots of cherry Pepsi. I feel like I made such an idiot of myself because I paid for it at the till. It's three crates for £24 and each crate has 24 cans in so it's actually a very good price and they last us ages and ages. I said to the lady like can I have some cherry Pepsi Max and so she charged me for it and when I went to get it because they've changed the cans I spent about 20 minutes walking up and down all the cans trying to find cherry Pepsi Max and I was like they don't do it they haven't got it um, I didn't realize they've just changed the cans back to like the old style Pepsi cherry cans but yeah fantastic price all their soft drinks in there are really really good they have such a good variety they do a lot of ones you wouldn't get anywhere else as well like cream sodas and different flavored lilts and like the old bubblegum flavor drinks and that kind of thing so the other thing I want to say about farm foods before I stop waffling is make sure you go onto their website. So just go to farm foods, I think it's .com or .co.uk, just put in farm foods if you're in the UK and enter your email and you will get emailed vouchers, £5 off a £60 spend, you get £2.50 off a £30 spend and every time before you go into farm foods make sure that you go back onto that website and re-put in your email and they will kind of refresh it and resend out the email because oftentimes I cannot find the email for looking when I'm trying. So just takes a few seconds outside the shop, go back on the website, pop in your email again and they will refresh and resend you out your codes. Really worth doing because obviously £5 off £60. This actually all came to £61 and I got £5 off of that. So I paid £56 but £24 of that was drink so really really good prices highly recommend it and like i said i've tried the majority of these things and they're worth having so yeah i just thought i'd put this separate to my usual food haul because i do waffle on and this is and i feel like this is something that you specifically want to go to farm foods for so if you haven't seen my weekly food haul with my japanese week from lidl make sure to go and check that out that will be already uploaded and i'll be back really soon with some more bargain hunting i'm going to see what else i can find for you guys until the next time take care guys it's what you're doing, making me feel like